let's talk about the proper form for a military press or shoulder press. Okay, a shoulder press is a multi-joint movement uh, again. So you got your, your shoulder and your elbow working in unison. Therefore, you got two muscle groups working uh, primarily your deltoids, which is your shoulders, and your triceps will assist as a secondary muscle. Okay, uh, proper form meaning you want to get the most out of this shoulder press. Keep the load on your deltoids as, mo as best as possible. So in order to do that, we're going to keep the range of motion shorter, mu much shorter than most people think. More is not better in this case here. You keep it tight and the load never comes off the shoulder. So it will look just something like this here. So we line up. Okay. As you notice, my elbows aren't totally locked. They got a little hitch in there. And again, that's protecting that elbow joint and the load stays on the muscle. If I lock those elbows out, all right, you're, you're, you're flirting with disaster here as far as that elbow joint goes, and then the load comes off the muscle, so the slight hitch. I'm going to come down and drop here until my upper arm is parallel to the floor, forming the letter L. Okay, that is as far as I go here, as opposed to coming all the way down and letting that pull on that rotator cuff. Not good for the shoulder joint. So we stop here. So we're going to come here, stop there. Small range of motion, but yet it never leaves the shoulder. Again, triceps will assist on any press movement or push. Press meaning push, just like so here. Exhale on the exertion, taking some air here on the negative part. You're in control. You're not going to catch it, let it fall and catch. You let your shoulders become shock absorbers. You want to be in command, just like so here. Feet flat on the floor, and we're just pressing right like this here. Taking some air, exhale on the exertion. Taking some air, exhale. That is the way a shoulder press should be done.